So this is it. The epilogue. And where is Triss? Where's Yorveth? Where's Letho? Oh, here's Yorveth. Hey, buddy. <laughs> what happened to Saskia? She's alive. Wounded from our scrap, but alive. She impaled herself on a tree, and then I had to use that dagger. <laughs> she impaled but herself, make of course. Mountain air is good for a dragon's hide. You're the most noble human I know, Gwynblade. I'm no human. I'm glad you reminded me. My hatred for the species abated for a moment. <laughs> what about Letho? Okay. Strange thing. He sits in the Temerian's former camp. Did he? Is he? I believe he awaits you. How do you know? I saw him. He's got Triss. Okay. Let's go. Let's go then. Tell me what happened here on the way. While you were fighting Saskia, the city was staged to a bloody spectacle. Uh, okay. The players? There were many. At first it was a hunt for the traitors, but it soon turned into a hunt for all mages. And there were a few skirmishes between Kedweni, Redanian, and Temerian troops. Rape, pillage, and murder. Not necessarily in that order. The mm -hmm. pastimes of the Order's pious knights. And the regular troops soon followed suit. The kings, with their choice units, left the city just after the dragon attacked. And the Nilf Guardians? Remained neutral. That is to say, they shot anyone who dared approach their camp. I hope this is the way to go here. Let's see now. I think he is basically. Um, yeah, I think I know where he, where where Letho is. Jesus Christ! Look at this place. Whoa! Oh no! Are you kidding me right now? When we're done with you, you'll be a lump of whimpering meat. Elf! Killed a non-human. Which one? <laughs> oh shit! Beasts! Bloody sons of bitches! Will you be all right? Yes, thank you. Leave me. What happened here? When the summit ended, we hid in one of the houses. But they found us. They cut off both my sister's hands so she wouldn't cast spells. But I managed to escape. They caught me here. Let's go, Gwynblade. This is madness. This is madness. Lock Mween has changed. That's what it looks like now. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, let me just drink a few potions here again. Should also put some, uh, apply some um, brown oil here on my steel sword. I don't think we're gonna fight any more monsters. I think we're gonna fight soldiers now. So yeah. Um. Anything else around here? Hopefully she'll be okay. Um. Okay. Can we get out through here? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Jesus, look at this place, guys. Oh my god. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. So we need to go in the middle there, I presume, right? I think oh. I heard something. Hello. Imperial troops. 
Okay, okay, these guys, huh? Long live the Emperor! Ring it, bitches. Long live the Emperor! Whoa! Wait a second, boys. Come on. Die, dog! Oh, come on, seriously, right now. Seriously now. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just one more step. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Cool. Silver ring, silver ring. What? Superb Nilfgaardian trousers? No, I'm not gonna do anything with those. Silver ring, maybe I can sell those things. Well, I can sell the trousers as well, but yeah, screw it. Okay, come on. Whoop. Let's go. Oh, they're. Sh crap, okay. Long live the Emperor! Yeah, long live the Emperor. Okay, so Letho... Whoa. Letho is... Finish your story. ...somewhere over here. I managed to sneak into the Nilfgaardian camp. It was relatively quiet there. Then I saw Letho leading Triss out. They let him go? No one dared stop him. I followed him. I think he noticed me, but didn't seem to care. Mm -hmm. Once the fighting died down, he went to the former Temerian camp. Is Triss all right? Yes. Letho defended her from marauders. Interesting. Did he defend her just so he can, like, meet us at one point and use her as bait? Or... I think this is the way to go, but look at this, guys. Holy crap. Wow. Jesus. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Wow. Wow. Just piles of, of bodies here, literally. Okay, ooh, look at this guy. Okay, I think this is, yeah, this is the way. Okay. Hello, Letho. And there's Triss as well. Stop, Yorvith. I'm going alone. Why? This is between the two of us. Take care of Triss until I return. Your choice. Mine, indeed. There's one more thing you need to know. Nilfgaard's armies have crossed the Yoruga. War is inevitable. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't get killed. I'll try not Farewell, to. Farewell, Yorvith. If I don't return within the hour, find Saskia and leave without me. Hey, Triss. Are you all right? How are you? Yes. He saved me from the Nilf Guardians, And defended me from the troops. It's time to end this. Yorvith's waiting. I'll catch up with you soon. 
Geralt, he knows a lot. I know, Triss. That's why we need to talk. Don't get killed, Witcher. <laughs> I won't. Okay. That's a promise. Okay. Let's go. Let's uh, let's talk to Litho here. Took you a while? <laughs> Is that bobble from Sheila's megascope? <laughs> mm-hmm. My final prank. I switched the diamonds. The one in the megascope has a flaw. Minute. But just large enough to warp the teleport. The Emperor's magic theorists assured me the effect would be spectacular. I let her escape. You're heartless. <laughs> You've no idea what the royal witch hunters have in store for her. A lot of pain for a long time. Ouch. I don't doubt it. So, ready to lay your cards out on the table? No matter the game, there comes a point when all the players need to show their cards. I love that moment. But first... Vodka. Vodka? <laughs> Well, here's hoping he's not trying to poison us. I suppose my throat's a little dry. In that case, let's drink to old friendships. Okay, it's not poison. <laughs> Recovered your memory yet? Not entirely. Exactly, not. not Remember not how we first met? Yes. Yeah, I saved your life. Couldn't think of a nicer way to pay me back? <laughs> Frankly, I couldn't. I mean, taking care of another man's woman, Yennefer. What? I can't fathom what you saw in her, but I suppose there's no accounting for taste. The Winter Solstice 1270. Middenvern, the Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the hanged man's tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Wow, okay. Wow. Back with me, friend. Got the feeling you left for a minute. Memories. I remember the hanged man's tree and the wild hunt. I remember the exchange. Me for Yennefer. So, cards out on the table. Unless you chase me all that way just to kill me. Well, I don't know yet. I chased you for many reasons and I'd like to know more <laughs> about uh, my past. I chased if you possible. for lots of reasons. You owe me some explanations to start with. Let's say I do. Okay, so... Let's start from the beginning here. Uh, what happened to Yennefer? Tell me about Yennefer. What happened after I departed? She was feverish for several days. Delirious. In agony. We thought that was it. She was on her way out. Somehow she recovered, but even then she was disoriented, amnesia like you. What then? Well, the woman turned out to be quite a character. Throwing temper tantrums, trying to seduce Ox, trying to drive a wedge between us. After you so nobly sacrificed yourself, we thought it'd be dumb just to leave her somewhere. She wouldn't have survived more than a month. 
the whims and vigor of a duchess, but she was just a sorceress with no memory. We were in the heart of the Empire. And as I'm sure you know, Geralt, in Nilfgaard, mages who behave like that either drop their bad habits quickly, or are drawn and quartered by horses in the middle of Victory Square. So I heard. So we set out, wandered through the provinces. Everywhere we went, she got in trouble and we pulled her out. And then one day they captured us. The Imperial Secret Police. Me, Ark, Sarit, and Yennefer. Imperial Secret Police? Mm-hmm. We were separated, and they questioned us. Long and thoroughly. But it was uneventful. No violence. That's how I met Vatia de Rideau. And a couple of weeks later, the Emperor himself. Me. A simple witcher. What happened to Yennefer? I don't know. Never saw her again. The Emperor offered me a mission in the Northern Kingdoms. As for Yennefer, I had the feeling she was somehow important to Emir. As I see it, they learned of the Lodge from her. Those Imperial Whoa. spooks have their ways. All I heard is that Vatier had his men watch Yennefer closely throughout the time she was at the palace. Then we went off to slay the kings of the north. And that's where my knowledge ends. So she's in the Empire? She was when I left. Okay. Interesting. How did you know where we'd find the Wild Hunt? Every Witcher who wears the Viper around his neck knows the place. We had so many books and scrolls about the hunt that I used to think our school was founded for the very purpose of solving the riddle of the Spectral Riders. Know who they are? You know the true identities of the Riders? From what I understand, they're some damn elven race. But they turned out to be a big ruse. The legendary omen of war proved to be a fairground attraction. No Market Square mage could possibly conjure up a cavalcade of wraiths speeding across the sky. Then there's the amnesia. No, there's something more, I assure you. Go ahead, enlighten me. I can tell you want to. There are a lot of legends and myths about it, but the Wild Hunt is a fact. I've fought and killed many of its wraiths. They were spectral emanations, the avatars of real riders. The riders we ran into by the Hanged Man's Tree. Are you telling me you were carried off by elves? Real material sons of bitches like the ordinary kind we deal with in this world? They may be ordinary in their world, but they're strangers in ours. The conjunction of spheres, know the theory. Do you know how monsters appeared in our world? There's not a witcher who doesn't know that. So you know there are other spheres. The most powerful of our mages can open passages between these worlds, and they usually do that to summon the monsters we then have to hunt. The elves we saw come from another world, and they weren't summoned. They found the way on their own. It's not exactly easy, so they usually send their spectral emanations. They come in person on special missions. As they did for you and Yennefer. But why? So elves from another world and their trained wraiths. What do they want from you? Exactly. I've got an idea. But that's not your concern. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting theory there. How did a witcher agree to kill humans at another human's bidding? At the Emperor's bidding, Geralt. And he's no ordinary human. The rulers of the north come up to about where his Pauline's end. Why? Simple. He promised to rebuild the school of the Viper. The Witcher's Order where I came to be. Witcher's schools in the south fell into ruin long ago. And Witcher's themselves became internal exiles, banned from entering most cities. Besides Seret and Ox, I know of two other Witchers of the School of the Viper who should be alive and on the path. I don't know where they are. 
Haven't seen them for years. Now they can come out of hiding. They can come home. Why are you still here? Why did you wait for me this time? I knew you wouldn't give up. I knew you'd pursue me. And I don't aim to hide anymore. Fact is, only you know the truth about me. Well, and a couple of folks whose word isn't worth spit anymore. I never saw you as a foe. I want to go my way. But if I have to fight you first, so be it. The story ends here and now. Okay, well, maybe we don't have to fight. Maybe. Care to tell me what it was all about? Hmm. Kill as many rulers as we could. Lay the blame on the sorceresses. Breed chaos. Prepare the north. Soften it before the invasion. And you know what's incredible? We could not have imagined more fertile soil. No matter what the war's outcome, the northern monarchs will accuse one another. Pursue their God-given rights. Seek vengeance and be at each other's throats for years to come. The north resembles a whorehouse on fire. As your friend Dandelion would say. Um... Okay... Here we go. How did you find Sheila? How did you manage to contact Sheila? It wasn't a problem once I learned of the Lodge's existence. Initially, she watched my every move. But sooner or later, everyone starts treating me like a big oaf. <laughs> I mean, I can't change how I look. <laughs> That's exactly what I she said. I stayed close to Sheila. Oh. Killed a few beasts for her, and whined about how unhappy I was. How unfair the world was. So much, in fact, that I actually got her gander up a few times. I made sure a few potentially trustworthy witnesses saw us together. Could link us. Security in case I was captured. I also prepared to assassinate the King of Kavir. Esterad Tyson was to be the first victim of the mysterious assassins. But before I could do the dirty deed, Sheila asked me to slay Demabend. The gods had smiled upon me. I couldn't believe my luck. Here I'd been trying to figure out how to frame Sheila. And now all I needed was to carry out her orders and follow through. Interesting, okay. Well, we know how they learned about the Lodge, but uh, let's see if he has uh, more stuff to say about that. Where'd you get your information about the Lodge? From the Emperor and Vatir Durido, the Emperor's chief spy. And I believe they got it out of Yennefer. She recovered her memory? Nah. I'd never claim she informed on her friends consciously. I expect they found a way to tap into her memory in spite of her amnesia, and without her knowing it. There was a sorcerer present when I was questioned. A young, proud intelligence officer. Whatever the case, they gave me a list of the sorceresses in the lodge. Only Emir, Vatir, and I were present. Only we knew of the mission. Okay, okay. How did you kill Demavend? How do you manage to slay Demavend? Sheila's magic. I mean, she could give us the king's every move. His habits, the positions of the palace guards, anything. All we had to do was navigate the labyrinth and land the final blow. Besides, she had plenty of gold for the preparations. Greased palms abundantly. It had all the makings of a cakewalk. But it's never that easy. We barely avoided our pursuers. And we wouldn't have if not for Yorveth Skyatel. Another of Sheila's ideas. With Yorveth's elves, not only did we cut down Demavand, but traveling with them put us out of the Lodge's reach. We could calmly plan fall tests and Hensel's assassinations. 
How did you know Foltest would come to the Monastery's solar? Yorveth and I planned Foltest's murder. The King of Temeria would have to deal with the Lavalette sooner or later, and he made no secret of it. I was sure he'd want to recover his bastard children in the process. And where do they take the children when a castle's under siege? I had to become a monk, but I couldn't just arrive at the monastery and claim I'd seen the light. Not very believable. So one of Arion's patrols out in the forests happened on a Skyatel unit torturing a helpless monk. Arion's brave men drove off the elves and I found shelter in the monastery. No one noticed you had no wounds? I paid the monk who treated me a lot of orange to stay silent. Very good plan. Actually, Very good plan. alone, because I killed him later. <laughs> oh my God. Only the dead can keep a secret. Then all I had to do he is was right about that. the situation to develop. When I saw you enter the chamber with Faltes, I thought I might fail. Luckily, you failed. To recognize an old friend. When did you decide to get rid of Yorveth? As soon as I realized I couldn't manipulate him. A true fox, that one. He was so observant, so dangerous. I got the sense he might see through me at any moment. You made a mistake. You were untouchable as long as the Scoyatel were protecting you. Maybe, but with Yorveth, my hands were tied. If I'd finished off Kieran. But you didn't. And that allowed me to drive a wedge between you and Yorveth. I forced you to flee. And I let you live. You know I could have killed you. You're forgetting. No, I remember. <laughs> he does have a point. So Sheila came to Flotsam basically looking for you. So Sheila was looking for you when she came to Flotsam. Mm-hmm. She thought she was still in control and wanted to get rid of me. I'd bet my eyes that she thought I'd lost my mind, or that Yorveth was manipulating me. And the North descended deeper into chaos. Exactly. There was just one problem. You. I could have killed you in the Elven Ruins. Thing is, you weren't really my enemy. You screwed up with Henselt. Sabrina's curse tore that down. First off, we got holed up in that hideout in the ravines. Then Sheila showed up and started watching Henselt like he was her own ass. By that time, his death was no longer necessary. Fate had smiled upon us again. I learned of the summit and the efforts to reconstitute the Council and Conclave. The ideal setting for the mission's grand finale. Okay. Well, I have to say, like, he is super smart, uh, and, you know, uh, he is way smarter than he looks, and um, the way he played everybody, I gotta, I gotta give him that. I'm done talking. Let's finish this. Wanna fight? To be honest... Any vodka left in that bottle? <laughs> A swig apiece. Here. To be honest, it's like... He did say we are not his enemy, and we have never been his enemy throughout all of this. Uh, we were just in the way, but he did spare our lives in the, the Elven Imperial Ruins. The Imperial Army is probably crossing the Yoruga as we speak. Pure pandemonium will ensue. The North's finished. Time to go south where the good life awaits. You're a fool, Letho. Both you and your Emperor are forgetting one thing. Misfortune brings people together. Very shortly, the North could be united like never before, thanks to you. But that's just not my concern anymore. I'm not your foe. I never was. Let me walk away and I will. You'll never see me again. Force me to fight. And this time I'll kill you. So, I think that's the third time he said we're not his enemy. I really... I really don't think um, he should uh, he should die. Uh, or we should fight him. I presume that there's only going to be one winner out of this. 
or one of us will come alive out of this. So uh, I don't really want to fight him, to be honest. I mean, I, I totally understand all his motives and... Uh, I, I have to say, I have to appreciate the way he went about doing all of this. I mean, you know, deceiving everybody, and yeah, like I said, I gotta give him props for that. That was very, very good. But um, I don't see any good in, in fighting him and potentially killing him at this point in time. Um, Triss is okay. Um... Everybody knows that he is the Kingslayer because he did admit to that in front of a whole bunch of people, right? Um, so, I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense for me to go ahead and fight him. So, let's see, let's see what happens if we go like this. I've learned all I wanted to know. I can feel the memories coming back. Your death won't change a thing. Exactly. Go where you will. Just like that. No threats. No words of wisdom. <laughs> Are you going or not? <sighs> Farewell, Geralt. And we, like, we were friends, right? A long time ago, and he did take care of Yennefer. While Geralt was with the Wild Hunt. So, what the hell? I gotta give him that as well. It would be cool to uh, meet him uh, if we could meet him again, maybe in in the next uh, in the next uh, game. That would be awesome. The Witcher had traveled far and wide in search of the Kingslayers. Along the way, he had met both the Righteous and Scoundrels, Bernard Lurido amongst the latter. Lurido sold Flotsam to Kedwin and scattered the local non-humans to the Four Winds. Flotsam became a military base. Its civilian population was resettled. In Edern, the Witcher witnessed Saskia the Dragonslayer achieve a great victory. The Pontar Valley, previously Upper Edern, became a promised land for outcasts who dared dream of freedom. Even sly old Zoltan Chive came to believe in this land of bliss. Yet dark times approached for the architects of the New Order. Dark clouds had been gathering over Temeria since Foltest's death. Stripped of its king, the land was like a rich cloth which nobles began to shred. These minor scavengers, however, scurried off in fear when true predators reached out for their prize. The summit at Loch Muin sealed the fate of Foltest's realm, when Radovid of Redania and Henselt of Kedwin divided it between them. A tempest descended on the north, at least partly the work of manipulative mages. It seemed the turmoil in Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin would benefit them most. Common folk turned against sorceresses and all magic freaks, witchers included. Castles that had hitherto welcomed mavens of the magic arts now shut their gates to any who sought shelter there. A witch hunt ensued. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. 
Yet as troubled as the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Of course you did. <laughs> Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, okay, so this is it, guys was a very very cool ending I have to say uh, I liked the fact that we had the option to fight or not to fight um, Letho at the end and also I really liked the fact that even though throughout the game he was portrayed as the bad guy or the, the you know our target <clears throat> he wasn't really you know at the end of the day he wasn't really our target because technically, the way I see it at least, our target was to um, find the Kingslayer and then save Triss. I mean, that became our main target after uh, chapter one, basically. Um, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed uh, the game. Uh, there are some, some, some things that I didn't really like about uh, Witcher 2. Um, the, the main thing would be that it felt a little bit too linear. Um, you did have side quests and uh, stuff like that. But in terms of exploring the world, it's pretty linear. Um, I mean, there's a lot of areas where you can't go. Um, you know, you cannot explore everything. And... Um, I particularly liked uh, Loch Muin the most uh, out of the three locations that um, uh, were present in, in the game. And I liked Loch Muin especially because of the uh, Darhana's laboratory um, expedition. But in, in Loch Muin, I noticed that we could not explore the entire area and I presume that that's because of the choice that we made in chapter at the end of chapter 1 where we chose uh, Yorveth's path or Roche, Roche's path and I presume that the, the uh, areas that we could not explore in uh, Yorveth's path are related to uh, Roche's path. Um, I, I, like, I also like the fact that you are given this um, option uh, to choose you know your ally and and then the the game is a different game based on the path that you choose to take and um, I, I said it before that I do want to play Roach's Path I don't think I'm gonna play it just now um, I'm, I'm really anxious to dive into The Witcher 3 at the moment and uh, I think I'm going to do that by using the save from this version of the witcher but i will return to the witcher 2 and try to try to play through uh, roach's pad I don't, I don't i don't know if i'm going to record it or not i haven't i haven't decided yet <laughs> i'll have to see um yeah um, what else um i liked the enemies uh al although the combat sometimes felt a little bit weird because you didn't um hit the enemies at all times uh, even though like they were right in front of you or right next to you um, Also, I think the fight with Saskia was a little bit uh, Too easy and maybe that's because we were a little bit too overpowered or maybe because of the Maybe because of the game difficulty that I chose um, So yeah um, but overall, like overall, I've really enjoyed the game. Um, so, like I said, I'm looking forward to to playing to playing the next adventure to play uh, the Witcher, the Witcher Three. The story um, is pretty complicated, and and another thing that I didn't quite get, and I I, I hope they're they're going to improve upon 
is the way they um, introduce the characters. I mean, yes, you could go into the journal and start reading about each character and so on and so forth. But like, if you if you're new to the to the Witcher world, it's kind of hard to keep up with everything, especially with the politics of it all, and uh, you know all the kings and the the rulers of the different regions of the world and stuff like that, and. Um, it comes together at the end a little bit, especially especially in the last bit where Dandelion talks about, you know, what happened afterwards. And when you see the map in its fullest and um, you, you see basically how the regions are laid out and stuff like that. But throughout the game... Um, yeah, there, there were moments, there were moments where I was like completely clueless about who a certain character was so yeah this is something that um, you know they uh, they I hope they would work uh, upon or they worked upon in in the next uh, in the next game um, yeah other than that uh, like I said I really enjoyed the game um, I hope you enjoyed it alongside me, and i um, looking forward to starting Witcher 3, which will start quite soon. There will be a, a, a bit of a, of a gap of a few days, most likely, uh, in between, and uh, we'll dive into, into The Witcher 3. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, The Witcher 3 has over 100 uh, hours of gameplay, and I... I particularly hope to achieve a completionist um, run in The Witcher 2. So if that happens, um, including all the DLCs, Hearts of Stone and and uh, Blood and Wine, uh, I think Blood and Wine is the second one, um, it's over, I don't know, 160 hours of gameplay, I think so, something like that, which is a, a lot of time. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to play The Witcher for a very long time, and I am going to play it, and um, I know there's a lot of bigger YouTubers out there who already played the game, and so on and so forth, but, um, yeah, uh, I hope you're gonna stick with me on, uh, on this adventure, and, um, and uh, we'll finish it uh, together here, so... Yeah, I think The Witcher will be on the channel for quite some time now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Well, uh, like I said, I hope you I hope you enjoyed um, the um, the series. I, I want to thank you all for all your support. And um, as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.